Now, NBC26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. Our high temperatures this afternoon did manage to get up into the mid 20s, but look in North Dakota below zero and not too far away. We saw temperatures drastically cooler. I don't think we're going to have high temperatures like that here anytime soon, but we could have some single digit highs as we get closer towards uh, Christmas weekend. There is a time lapse today. We had a few little flurries, otherwise just low level clouds just sticking around. We are hoping for some sunshine and it's really been a very cloudy month. I mean, remember fall how we had nice, dry, sunny weather? Well, I guess now we're paying the price for it. Here we are with an area of low pressure up to the north. That's still holding on some residual moisture, high pressure down to the south. Our next weather maker right here is across the southwest. That area of low pressure will be tracking up to the north as we head into the day tomorrow. So starting off maybe with some sunshine, but later in the afternoon and evening, that's when the clouds will build in and we are expecting some snowfall later tomorrow night into early Tuesday. Very minimal system, about a dusting to an inch of snowfall, but ahead of that, I think during the daytime hours, for example, the morning and evening commute shouldn't be impacted whatsoever. At the moment, just cloudy skies, but you look in southern Wisconsin, especially southwest Wisconsin, clear skies. Even if you're watching uh, some of the football games further south, for example, Chicago, they were completely sunny today after they lost against uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, as you head into later tonight, we will remain mostly clear, expecting it to be so. And then tomorrow, starting to see the clouds build in here. A few flurries, perhaps, as we head into the afternoon, but here we are at 10 o'clock. That's when some light snow starts to move in. So probably by the fourth quarter of the Packers game, light snow will be falling across Lambeau Field as they play the Rams. By, I'd say, about 4 a.m. on th uh, Tuesday, most of the snow will be leaving us and will break out into perhaps some sunshine later Tuesday afternoon. In terms of how much snow, it's not going to be a significant amount. As you can see, it's just kind of light scattered snow showers that move across late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. Probably about a dusting to an inch of snowfall is what we could expect, but there could be some localized higher totals. We've been seeing a fluctuation between about a dusting to an inch. Some models having a little bit around two inches of snowfall. If we get a little pocket of that, clearly could see some higher accumulations. Temperatures for tomorrow, it is going to be a cold one. Highs right around 20 when our normal high should be 10 degrees warmer. Then our next weather maker, which we'll watch out for very closely, will be approaching Thursday into Friday. Strong low pressure moving somewhere across the Great Lakes. Where exactly it tracks remains still a question, but it's still showing run after run, especially the southern half of the viewing area, seeing accumulating snowfall. So we'll have to watch out very closely where this track ends up occurring, and we'll keep you updated as we get closer in time. As for tonight, five for the overnight low. Tomorrow we'll get up to 20 degrees with southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll turn cloudy by the afternoon. 27 on Tuesday, 16 Wednesday, then comes that potentially bigger storm Thursday and Friday with chilly weather as we head into the Christmas weekend.